It was a cold and cloudy morning when a gray-furred cat was first spotted, sitting patiently at the door of a house in a quiet neighborhood. The residents, curious, observed the feline from a distance, noticing that he didn't seem inclined to leave. The expression on the cat's face was a strange mix of hope and despair, as if he were waiting for someone. As the hours passed, the cat remained in the same place, occasionally standing up to stretch his legs and then settling back down, always close to the door. He didn't stray, didn't chase after birds, and showed no interest in exploring the surroundings. He just stayed there, as if he had a mission to fulfill. Some people tried to approach and offer food and water, but the cat refused, staying firm in his position. It was as if he knew that this wasn't his home, but he still couldn't leave. The animal's persistence began to worry those who passed by daily, generating a mix of pity and perplexity. Days went by, and the cat continued in the same spot, growing weaker but still determined. It was then that a woman named Sophia, who lived nearby, noticed the unusual behavior of the feline. She had also tried to feed him, without success, but now felt that something was wrong. Sophia was an animal lover, and her instinct to care for the cat began to grow stronger. Sophia decided to investigate the situation. She talked to some neighbors, trying to find out where the cat might have come from or if anyone knew him. The answers were negative. No one knew where he had come from, and it seemed the animal was there purely out of obstinacy, waiting for something or someone that wouldn't arrive. Sophia's compassion grew with each passing day. She started to approach the cat more frequently, speaking to him softly, trying to earn his trust. The cat, although still reluctant, began to slowly give in, accepting small amounts of food that Sophia offered. One day, after almost a week of attempts, the cat finally allowed Sophia to touch him. It was a moment of relief and emotion for her, as she already felt deeply connected to the animal. Carefully, she picked him up and took him home, where she prepared a cozy corner for him. In the first days after the rescue, the cat still seemed to be in a state of confusion. He frequently returned to the door of the house where he had been found, as if he were still waiting for someone. Sophia watched these moments with a heavy heart, but with the determination to show the feline that he now had a new home. Over time, the cat began to adapt to his new life. He discovered the comfort of a safe home, the constant availability of food, and Sophia's affection. Slowly, the sadness in his eyes gave way to an expression of contentment, though traces of his old waiting remained. Sophia decided to name the cat Aspera, a tribute to his incredible patience and perseverance. Although he had lost whatever he was waiting for, he now had a new opportunity to be happy. The case of the cat that waited at the door of an unknown house was mentioned by some neighbors and even made its way into a small column in the local newspaper. The story, though sad at its core, touched the hearts of those who heard it. Today, Espera lives peacefully with Sophia, enjoying each moment as if he knew his time of suffering had finally come to an end. Sophia, in turn, feels that by rescuing the cat, she was also rescued in some way, finding in him a loyal companion and a symbol of hope. Thus, the cat who once stayed at the door of a house without wanting to leave has now found a new home, a new life, and above all, a new reason to move forward. Espera, now in his new home, began to explore the environment with more confidence. Each corner of Sophia's house seemed like a new and safe territory for him. Gradually, the house that was once just a temporary shelter started to become his true home. He became familiar with the sounds of the house, Sophia's routines, and even the birds singing outside the window. Sophia, in turn, was delighted with Espera's progress. She observed how he slowly began to open up to his new life. The cat, who once barely touched his food, now eagerly awaited the meals she prepared. He had a particular fondness for a specific corner of the couch, 
where he would nestle during the afternoons, enjoying the sunlight streaming through the window. The bond between Sofia and Espera grew stronger each day. She noticed that with every caress and every kind word, the cat seemed to trust her more. He followed her around the house, watching her with attentive eyes as if trying to understand her every gesture. And although there was still a quiet melancholy in his eyes, Espera began to show signs that he was finally allowing himself to be happy. One afternoon, while cleaning the house, Sofia noticed that Espera was not on the couch where he usually rested. She searched for him in his usual spots but couldn't find him. Worried, she called his name and headed toward the front door. When she opened the door, she saw Espera sitting on the step, looking out at the street. He seemed to be remembering something, perhaps his past, perhaps the weight that once brought him there. Sophia approached and sat down next to Espera. In silence, she stayed by his side, respecting the cat's moment of introspection. She knew he still carried memories of his time on the streets, the endless wait for something that never came. But Sophia also knew that he was no longer alone. Espera looked at Sofia, and for a brief moment, it seemed as if he was trying to tell her something. Perhaps a silent thank you, perhaps a farewell to the past he was finally ready to leave behind. He then stood up and, without hesitation, walked back into the house, followed by Sofia. In the days that followed, Espera began to become more playful. Sophia bought some toys, and he soon took an interest in a small ball that he loved to chase around the house. It was as if, little by little, he was rediscovering the joy of being a cat, leaving behind the painful memories of his previous life. Sophia felt immense joy watching Espera so active and happy. She knew that although his time of waiting had ended, the time for healing was still ongoing. Each day brought a new achievement, a new step toward the full recovery of the cat who had once been abandoned. Winter began to give way to spring, and with it, Espera's mood seemed to bloom alongside the first flowers in Sophia's garden. He now spent more time near the windows, watching the world outside, but without the anxiety of before. There was a new serenity in his behavior, as if he had finally found peace. One day, while tending to the garden, Sophia noticed that Espera was watching her from the windowsill. His eyes shone in a different way, a sparkle she hadn't seen before. He was curious, interested in what was happening outside, but without the old desire to escape. For Sophia, this was a clear sign that Espera had finally accepted his new life. As the months passed, Sophia and Espera established a peaceful routine. He followed her around the house, always close but never intrusive. At night, he would settle next to her on the couch, purring softly while she read or watched television. And every morning, she found him sleeping at the foot of the bed as if watching over her sleep. Sophia also began to notice that Espera was becoming more sociable with other people. When friends or family visited, he no longer hid as before. Instead, he observed them from a distance and occasionally approached, allowing himself to be petted by those Sophia considered friends. The most remarkable change, however, came one sunny autumn morning. Sophia was in the garden, and Espera, in an unexpected move, stepped through the open door to join her. But unlike what Sophia feared, he didn't run away. Instead, he simply lay on the grass beside her, enjoying the warmth of the sun. It was as if he was finally feeling at home, both inside and out. That scene brought tears to Sophia's eyes. She knew that this gesture meant that Espera, the cat who had once been abandoned and waited so long at a stranger's door, had found his place in the world. And most importantly, he had found peace and security by her side. Now, whenever Sophia looks at Espera, she sees not just a rescued cat, but a symbol of resilience and love. He is a constant reminder that no matter how long the wait, there is always a new chance to find happiness. And so, 
Sophia and Espera continue their lives together, sharing moments of tranquility and joy, knowing that finally, the past is behind them and the future is full of new and happy possibilities. As the weeks passed, Sophia began to notice that Espera had developed his own routine. Every morning, he would head to the living room window where he would spend hours watching the activity outside. It seemed that, despite having found a home, he still maintained a special connection with the outside world. Sophia wondered what was going through Aspera's mind during those moments of contemplation, but she respected his space, knowing that every step in his journey was important. Aspera also began to venture further into the garden. At first, he took only small steps exploring the plants and flowers that Sophia had carefully nurtured. But over time, he grew bolder, exploring every corner of the garden. Sophia always kept an eye on him, making sure he was safe, but without interfering in his explorations. There was something liberating about the way Espera moved through the space, as if he was finally allowing himself to be curious and live fully. One day, while tending to the plants, Sophia noticed that Espera was particularly interested in one corner of the garden. He sniffed a specific area repeatedly, as if trying to remember something. Intrigued, Sophia approached and saw that there, among the plants, was a small toy, probably left by some other animal that had visited the garden before. Espera began to play with the object, showing a playful side she hadn't seen before. Seeing Aspera play brought immense joy to Sophia. This was the first clear sign that he was allowing himself to be a real cat again, leaving behind the fear and insecurity that had accompanied him for so long. She sat on the garden bench and watched him, enchanted, as he ran back and forth with the toy. It seemed that, finally, life was returning to normal for both of them. As time went on, Espera and Sophia developed a comfortable routine. Every afternoon, after lunch, he would curl up in Sophia's lap while she read a book or watched a television show. Espera's soft purring became a constant melody in Sophia's life, a sound that brought peace and serenity to every moment. It was as if both had found a new purpose in each other's lives. As the months passed, Sophia began to notice subtle changes in Aspera's behavior. He became more affectionate, often seeking her attention with small touches and soft meows. The cat who was once distant and reserved now actively sought Sophia's affection, and she responded with equal devotion. It was clear that Aspera had fallen in love with his new life and, even more so, with his new owner. One night, during a dinner with friends, Sophia talked about how much Aspera had changed. Her friends, who had met the cat in the early days after the rescue, were impressed by the transformation. They praised Sophia for her patience and dedication, but she knew that the true strength came from Aspera. He had been through so much, and yet he was still there, loving and being loved. Espera also began to show interest in other animals that occasionally appeared in Sophia's garden. One day, a bird landed on the windowsill, and instead of scaring it away, Espera just watched it calmly. Sophia was surprised by the cat's calmness, realizing that he was truly adapting to the peaceful and secure life she had created for him. A particularly emotional moment happened when Espera, for the first time, left the garden to explore the backyard. Sophia was nervous, fearing he might get lost or hurt, but decided to trust him. To her surprise, Espera made a quick tour of the yard and, without any hesitation, returned to the garden, where he lay down under the shade of a tree. It was a moment of relief and joy for Sophia, who saw in that gesture the proof that Espera considered her house the safest place of all. As summer began, Sophia noticed that Aspera spent more time outdoors, enjoying the warmth and the sun. He loved stretching out on the grass and watching the clouds in the sky. There was something deeply therapeutic in those moments, both for him and for Sophia, who joined him whenever she could. 
It was as if both were rediscovering the pleasure of small things together. Evenings also became a special time for Sofia and Espera. After a long day, he always found his place next to her on the couch. Sofia had bought a special bed for him, but Espera preferred to be close to her. And although he had the freedom to go anywhere in the house, he chose to stay by his owner's side, where he felt most safe and loved. One afternoon, while organizing some old photos, Sophia came across a picture of Espera from his early days in the house. Comparing it to the cat sitting beside her now, it was impossible not to notice the transformation. The sad, lost look had been replaced with eyes full of life and curiosity. He had regained not only his confidence, but also his will to live. Sophia knew that although Espera would never completely forget his past, he had finally found peace in his present. And that peace was all she wished for him. Now, they shared a life of tranquility and love, creating new memories each day. And more than ever, Sophia was certain that Espera was an essential part of her life, just as she was of his.